Hey, how you doing? This is SJG Perspective. Tonight we're going to do a quick video and uh, a response video, reaction video, if you will, to this whole news that just broke uh, earlier today on the U.S. Envoy revises testimony admits to quid pro quo. But before we do that, I'd like to take a 60 second time out and we'll jump right into this topic afterwards. It's going to be a good time and it won't be too terribly long, so stick around. Hey everybody, got 30 seconds to do this. So what I want to tell you is that I really need you to follow me. You need to follow me on Parlor, Minds, BitChute, Twitch, DLive, Twitter, Perspective SJG. Everything else is SJG Perspective. And Twitter's Perspective SJG. Don't ask me why Twitter's weird. But do that because there could come a day when YouTube just doesn't want to have me around anymore. YouTube doesn't just like to us. My channel. Oh, and one final thing in the next six seconds. Please like go to the About page sure. of my channel. The About page of my channel. Go to my About and page. Give email me email right down in the About page of my channel. Get that. Pulls up the form. Give me your email address. I promise you I'm never going to share with anybody else. This was only supposed to be 30 seconds. I want it to be less than a minute. Here we go. I'm done. And now back to the show. Have a great night. Bye. Oh yeah, P.S. Please PS. like and share this video. Like Don't forget to do that. Like and share it. Okay, everybody. How are you doing? It's SJG Perspective. We're doing an actual just video tonight. I'm not streaming. So I am losing my mind over this whole impeachment stuff every time I hear more stuff. And I want to just, the reason for my video is because I know we're all just so brain dead about listening to this. I just want to bring back to the point to stick to the facts. Stick to the facts, but people stick to the simple facts. Go to Robert No Ears, No Ears, Robert Noers, N O E R R's page, N O E R R, I think. He does a really great breakdown of this, but I'm going to do a more thousand foot overview of this. And this video is not going to be terribly long tonight, so just stick around for it. It's going to be less than 10 minutes. You can handle that, right? Here's the things we need to stick to, people. We need to remember and we need to stick to. The only one who did verifiably blatant quid pro quo was Joe Biden. And that is why the mainstream media, who you cannot trust to tell you the truth now more than ever, because they 90% of them hate Trump and just want to bring him down, are steering everybody away from that and and squashing or spiking that story, if you will. Where have we heard just today about spite the, the media spiking a story in regards to Jeffrey Epstein and ABC? ABC spiked the story from three years ago when they had a bunch of information on Jeffrey Epstein, when they, they could have taken him down, when they could have stopped uh, uh, you know girls from getting raped and, and being sex trafficked by these piece of dirt uh, politicians and these um, uh, Bill Clintons of the world and these other high, high, high up powerful men of the world, right? They spiked it. And we're going to find out, I think, why in the coming week or in the weeks to come. But that same media, right, that spiked that story is the same one that is spiking the story here of Joe Biden, the real quid pro quo and turning it around on Trump. We had the trans we didn't had we have the transcripts that of the conversation with Zelensky, but nobody cared about the transcripts. They said, well, those couldn't those aren't some of those could maybe be missing or, or have been, you know, edited or so on and so forth. Down, we can't trust the actual transcripts of the call between them. What we need is to talk to second and third hand third hand people and get what they think they heard or what they heard from a friend's mother's friend's sister's uncle's, you know, best friend. We need to trust that. That's the information we need to trust. And that's the information that's going to sink Donald Trump's presidency. So we went after all these, these whistleblowers and we find out it's secondhand, thirdhand information, right? Then all of the special envoy comes out and they say there wasn't quid pro quo originally. Now they change their story. Oh, and then they hold all these interviews and all these interrogations behind closed doors where we can't see or, and we can't listen to what's going on. They play all kinds of games with the Republicans on what the Republicans and those uh, committees can ask uh, these witnesses and these people testifying. But so now the big news of the day is that the special envoy revising their testimony. So can anybody say credibility out the window? Someone had said a few weeks ago, no, there was no quid pro quo. Well, now I've thought about it and the yeah, other was quid pro quo. And now we're supposed to trust the transcripts 
the, the we don't want to trust the transcripts of the actual conversation. We want to trust the transcripts, the revised transcripts of the second and third hand information. And the maybe sort of, I think it might have been improper. Maybe it was illegal information. And that is where we're at. It is a complete and total snow job on the American people and a misdirection. And what you need to do is keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Not that you guys are stupid. Don't be stupid like all the other people that are buying into this and aren't really looking at the direction that they need to be looking. Where is Joe Biden? So let's watch this little quick video here of um, Joe Biden or, or, or of what CNN has come out as news today. It's only a two minute clip, but that'll probably turn into a few more minutes with me talking. We know how that goes. Kicks off our coverage today. In black and white, one of the president's top envoys changing his testimony, now admitting he told Ukraine's leadership that hundreds of millions of dollars in military aid were being held up until President Trump got the investigations he wanted. Ambassador Gordon Sondland, who's a longtime Republican donor turned diplomat, who gave money to Trump's inaugural committee, amending his original testimony, writing, I now recall speaking individually oh, with Mr. Isn't Yerman, that convenient? Where I said, I now. Of US I now recall, now I've thought about it some more, now I recall actually, uh, I now recall speaking individually with Mr. Yermak, Yermak where I said that uh, resumption of, uh, where I said that resumption of USAID would likely not occur until you came provided the public anti-corruption statement that we had been discussing for many weeks. But here's the thing, people, we have not gotten anything from Ukraine on Biden. We have not gotten any of this, these statements that they're, they're taking up this investigation into Biden from the Ukraine. And we have, uh, meanwhile, given them money. So if this was a quid pro quo, why did we give them the money and we didn't get, our, we didn't get the quid part of our quo or the quo part of our quid? How come that is the, the, the way the, the, the reality of it is? Even if there wasn't, which there wasn't, but let's just say he, he asked for a quid pro quo. There's been no quid pro quo because there was no quo pro to quid. If you mean what I know. This aid would likely not occur until Ukraine provided the public anti-corruption statement that we had been discussing for many weeks. Again, he revised his statement. Trump wanted, according to the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, was that President Zelensky go to a microphone and say he is opening investigations of Biden and 2016 election interference. And that is what they don't want anybody in the world to do because there was. There was from the Democrat and the Obama administration and all these doc documents with Bur Burisma and Obama and go again to Robert Noir's page. He, he ties it in way better. But go in there and watch his his article or, or his 10 or 20 minute segments on these. He breaks it out. There was interference and there was behind the scenes uh, stuff going on with Ukraine from the Democrats and the DNC there was that going on, but now Trump's saying, hey, I want you to look into that. He's the bad guy. This is the upside down world we're living in. Those investigations were being pushed by the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. There's really only one story. <laughs> All of the witnesses agree that the president engineered a shakedown of the Ukrainian <laughs> government. In Solomon's there's, a, there's only one story. And that's that the president did all these bad things, even though the transcripts of the actual uh, phone call with the president or with the president Trump and uh, President Zelensky don't show that the whistleblowers and the second and third hand people who have revised their statements, their transcripts say it did happen. So there's really only one story here. Script released this afternoon when asked if what Giuliani was doing was illegal. Sondland responded, I assume so. That's illegal. You cannot solicit. Oh, Ted Lou, this guy, this guy is somebody we really need to trust. He says it's illegal. We we better we better believe him because he he wouldn't lie to us. Ted Lou. American political parties or your American political opponent. Right, but can you actually then, Mr. Ted Lou, are you allowed to, as a vice president of the United States, uh, thre <clears throat> threaten to actually withhold a billion dollars in funding from the Ukraine if they do not? Um, you know, fire the prosecutor that was looking into your son's um, shady business dealings with a corrupt oil company. Um, is that illegal to do? Is that illegal to do and to make sure that the, the, the case gets transferred to a, um, 
a part of the government or to a uh, um, prosecutor in the go- Ukrainian government that would dismiss it with small fines and say, yeah, there was nothing wrong here. Some small fines. That's it. We just, you know, we dust off our hands. There was nothing wrong. Tell me, is that is that illegal, Mr. Ted Lieu? Over time, Sondland said things got more insidious. The demands on Ukraine bigger and bigger. And Ukraine would have to play ball before the Ukrainian president. Ooh, they got bigger. They're going to need to play ball. And we're talking some serious ball. That's how bad and insidious these threats from the president and the administration got. You better play ball. Or we're not going to give you that money. Well, we'll give it to you anyways because we did. But you better play ball. Got a meeting with President Trump. This is so hilarious. This is so hilarious. If people, the, 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 there's so many people actually buying this crap, this crap story, and actually really are running with it and thinking that President Trump has done some some terrible stuff that's worthy of him being impeached. This is all political. This is all to shut down 2020 election, which I go on record to say right now will be a landslide. I'm doing a new parity to Fleetwood Mac's landslide dedicated to this because it has fired me up enough to know uh, or fired me up enough to write it. And it will be a landslide in 2020 for the State Department, which was fully aware of what Giuliani was doing, Sondland said. And when Sondland raised it with his boss, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Pompeo rolled his eyes and said, (laughs) yes, it's something we have to deal with. Another member of the trio in charge of diplomatic relations with Ukraine was former special envoy Kurt Volker, who, according to the new transcript, told the Again, again, according to the new transcripts, all these transcripts, man, they are, we need to believe everything they say, even though look at all that redaction in them. Did you see that much redaction in the Trump Zelensky phone call? No, you didn't. But we redact all this, and that might just be personal names or whatever. But here, these transcripts you must believe. The transcripts of the actual phone call ignore those. It's about the Giuliani factor and describe the extent to which Giuliani controlled Ukrainian access to Trump. The Ukrainians believe that by speaking to Rudy Giuliani, they could communicate to President Trump, Volker was asked. That information flow, he answered, would reach the president. And the president's spokesperson has just responded to these transcripts uh, released today. Stephanie Grisham saying she they nails it. Show there is even less evidence for yep. this illegitimate impeachment sham than previously thought. She also highlights parts of Sondland's testimony where he's uncertain and adds no amount of salacious media bias right. headlines. She nailed clearly it. Clearly designed to influence the narrative, change the fact that the president has done nothing wrong. Okay. She Oxmark, Mark, nailed it. She nailed it right there. Absolutely just nailed it. And I need to escape out of here and close that out before that goes into something that we don't want to listen to. So, again, we're going to wind this video up, but just keep it simple and, rem- and remember, Trump has not done anything worthy of this impeachment, has not done anything worthy of these headlines. This is coming to you from the same media that spiked the Epstein story when they wanted to bring this information out years ago when uh, um, Amy Bershar, I forget her name, but you, she's all over the Project Veritas leaks, right? When the reporter for uh, ABC wanted to break the Epstein sting and they spiked the story because it was bad optics for a lot of really powerful people, most of which were Democrats. There was probably some Republicans in there, but but one of the main ones, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was riding that at Lolita Express doing the old, you know, doing the old with uh, getting a little action from little girls and underage girls. And they didn't want that information coming out. And then Epstein, we all know what happened to him. He uh, uh, suicided himself. So uh, allegedly, which is not true. He didn't kill himself. We all know that. But this is what is going on. It's a political sham. It's a political smear. It's a completely and totally politically motivated. There is no truth to it. There is no story here. The only story you need to remember is that the DNC... The DNC, the Obama administration, was actually involved in um, corruption and and doing some shady stuff for the 2016 election to take down Trump. And that Joe Biden actually did uh, commit a, a quid pro quo for his son over there. Plain and simple. And nobody's talking about it, even though it's all out there, completely out there for everybody to know. So anyways, just some my thoughts. 
Again, don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video because I'm not getting a ton of views because of YouTube and whatnot. Share this video. If I get 20 or 30 or 40 views on this video, which is typical, 50 videos, 50 views on my little clip videos, that's fine. If everyone shared it, it would really help push it out there. So I, I, I hope you guys do that for me. Um, I would appreciate that. And until next time, without fear or animus, it's SJG Perspective. And you guys have a great rest of your night. See you later. Bye. <laughs>